Hello everybody. I've been having fun making these artist trading coins and just to give you some of the teacher lineage on this. The, the first one I saw was Crafty Hodges. Joanne at Crafty Hodges. And she posted that in April, How to Make Artist Trading Coins. And then Nina Rabina picked up the uh, call and she started making artist trading coins for week one of one of her swaps so she made she and got a whole bunch of people to make artist trading coins for a for a trading coin swap um, then I also found Nancy Bastine who actually did some research on YouTube she found an originator of the idea of making circles of course, I mean, circles are circles. We all know what circles are and love them probably. But anyway, so Stacy from Pink Poodle Crafts back in 2016 um, has a video on YouTube called Make Art Circles. She made hers on smaller circles, one and three quarters, one and a half, where most of the other newer artists are making them two inches, two and a quarter, two and a half, and sometimes different sizes. But the two and a half is, is um, you know, the artist trading coin cards are two and a half by three and a half. So, so I have been playing and making some. I'm just stamping out something on the background to go on the back of these, and um, just playing. And today I doodled, doodled on a bunch of them. So I've been putting. Um, Barb Owen got me excited about trying out my. Um, embossing powders because she was doing Seth Apter's embossing powders which I don't have anyway so I got out my embossing powders and I got out my um, ooh, isn't that pretty? Pearl X powders because that's what I have and I I'm not going to order Seth Apter's yet but I want them so these are these are some embossing powders that I have the orange and then the green is the Pearl X powder. And then when I finish that one, I put a coating of clear embossing powder on it using Versamark. And I love that. So these are these are my um, little guys. So you can see some of the Embossing powder on the background of some of these. Versamark and embossing powder. I just, I don't know why this one just wanted to have a little tag top on it. So, like a journal thing, you know, something to tag to put in a journal or something. This is just a little stamp. I have so, I've got several of these with this little stamp, which I really like. This is the same stamp. This is the same stamp. This is the this is where I used embossing powder on top of Pearl X. I had some old um, wipe off sheets from jelly printing. So these dark ones are are from from that. These were two of the first two I did, um, and they were just kind of like, okay, I'm going to try this after. I, saw the videos but I really like these. These are little images from magazines or greeting cards or something and they're putting on there. Then I have some stamps that I like so I'm just trying those with I think they're really cool. They're very cool. This was I was still coveting the Seth Apter stuff. I mixed some Pearl X powder in with uh, clear embossing powder. So that's got kind of a shimmery background. Just put some die cut stuff on top. These are little, they're like the Shannon Green Five Pitiful. Now, okay, I've forgotten who. I'll have to go back and put in who showed me how to do the six petal flowers because the six petal flowers are every bit as wonderful and the way she pinched them in the bottom that gave them a little shape I really like. So these these are little dimensional ones. So those are 
That's my stash. What about that? Isn't that pretty? That is my stash. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I did this whole batch, finished this whole batch today, and I've got two more to do. And I will do those sometime. So this is some kind of a, uh, one of these gel pens on there that did not dry. So I have to put something over that black I put on there. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you get turned on to the whole idea of artist trading coins, um, circles, and have fun. Use your little bitty things that you've been collecting, blazes. All right. See you next time.